Tonight, I simply wear a button that I got somewhere in my youth that says Jesus. Because on February 17th, one of the great leaders of this country, and of this commonwealth, and of this district, Gene Steiner, passed into the hands of the Father. Now, if you are over 45, Clyde's raising his hand. You barely make it, Clyde. <laughs> you remember going around northern Kentucky with Gene Snyder. Clyde is laughing because he remembers those days. We know from those days that Gene was a religious man because when we would go to the Palm Beach outlet to pick up a suit, he would tell everybody he was a minister so he could get the 10% discount. <laughs> And as Debbie McKinney laughing in the back will remember, the first time we ever saw the inside of the Fort Mitchell Country Club was on Gene Snyder campaigns because at 4.30 you quit campaigning and there was always a bottle of bourbon and a gin rummy game to be found at the Fort Mitchell Country Club. Back in the back. So those of us who are over 45 and remember those days that we cut our baby teeth with Gene Snyder, we sat here tonight and thought, our first night that we're without Gene, wouldn't it be great if we had a moment of silence? And then we laughed and said no. <laughs> Gene Snyder was never silent in his entire life. And even he would not appreciate a moment of silence in his honor. So at your table, Deb McKinney has put together this wonderful tribute to Gene Snyder. And as opposed to a moment of silence, if you would please get what you have in front of you, pick it up, and join us in singing that song that will awaken you at 3 in the morning, that jingle that you can never forget. <laughs> Justin, get it. Jesus, Jesus, a man that we can trust. He works hard for all of us. The congressman who keeps in touch. Look for Jesus. Snyder. God bless you. 